Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Making Waves bookmark, which is this bookmark that you see here. It is a simple wave and chevron design. They're quite fun to make. Uh, you can make them up quite quickly, uh, which makes it an excellent uh, gift for yourself or for a friend. Or family member uh, but also if you wanted to make up a few for craft sales and that uh, they do work up quite quickly so it's a, a good candidate for that uh, for this project you are going to need three colors of a lightweight yarn I am using the Patton's Grace which is a mercerized cotton yarn uh, it's a lightweight yarn you're going to need three colors and probably only about eight yards per color you're also going to need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and you're going to need a copy of the written crochet pattern which can be found for free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com Thank you so much for joining me for this video tutorial on how to make the Making Waves bookmark. Uh, while you're here, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. And of course, don't forget to check me out on uh, Facebook and then my blog. The link, direct link to this written pattern will be found in the video notes of this tutorial. So once again, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, grab some lightweight yarn, three colors, and your 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, and let's get started. So for this uh, tutorial today, I'm going to be using three colors. My color A is going to be this green color, my color B, this pink, and then a gray for my color C. What you're going to do is you're going to start by taking your color A and your crochet hook, this bookmark is worked lengthwise, so we are going to begin by making a longer chain or working along the length of your bookmark. So you'll start by making a slip knot, and you're going to chain 38 stitches. Once you have a total of 38 chains, you're going to continue working with your color A and you're going to start by single crocheting in the second chain from hook, so count in there's one and two, single crochet in that second chain from hook, and then single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So at the end of this row, you are going to have a total of 37 stitches. Single crochet in each stitch all the way across. When you come to the end you're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. Once you have chained one and turned your work you're ready to begin row two. For row two you're going to start by working one single crochet in the first stitch half double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, and then three triple crochet stitches in the next stitch. So yarn over twice, there's one triple crochet, two, and three. Double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, and single crochet in the next. You are now going to repeat. So you've worked your single crochet, you're going to work a half double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch and three triple crochets in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next, 
half double crochet, and then repeat. Single crochet, followed by your half double crochet. So you're going to, going to continue uh, working that pattern all the way across to the end of your row. At the end of your row, you can meet me back here and I'm going to show you how I like to uh, do this, but you're going to switch to your color B. So work uh, that wave pattern all the way across to the end of your row. So I'm coming up here on my final stitch here in row two, which is a single crochet stitch. And I wanna switch over at this point to my color B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in that final stitch, insert my hook as I would for a single crochet, and I'm going to yarn over and draw up a loop. This is in my color A. Now because I want to switch to my color B, I'm going to drop my color A yarn, and I'm going to pick up my color B, which is my pink, and I'm going to place it on my hook. I'm then going to pull a, yarn, a loop through using my color B yarn. Pull my color A and my color B there just a little bit tighter. And now I'm all set to go to work with my color B. I'm now going to chain one in my color B and I'm going to turn my work. Now I like to work over top of my ends a little bit so that I don't have to weave them in afterward. So that's what I'm going to do here uh, for my row two or row three, sorry. For row three, I'm going to begin, I'm using my color B yarn, and I'm going to single crochet two together over the first two stitches. So those are the, this is the first stitch, and that's the second stitch there. I'm going to single crochet two together. Two single crochet two together, I'm going to insert my hook in the first stitch. I'm going to draw up a yarn over and drop a loop. I'll have two loops on my hook. I'm then going to insert my hook in the second stitch and I'm going to yarn over again and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're then going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that's your single crochet two together. Next, you're going to single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And then in the next stitch, work three single crochet stitches. All in the same stitch. So there's one, there's two, and there's three. Work one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And now over the next three stitches, I'm going to work a single crochet three together. So to do that, I'm going to insert my hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, insert my hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook. You're going to do that one more time. Insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. Once you have four loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and draw through all four loops. And that's your single crochet three together. I'm just going to take a moment and I'm going to snip that color A because I don't need it on there anymore. You're now going to repeat all the way across. So you're going to single crochet in each of the next two stitches, work three single crochet stitches in the next single crochet in each of the next two stitches and then over the next three stitches work a single crochet three together. Continue to repeat that all the way across to the end where you will work a final single crochet two together over your final two stitches. I'm here at the end of row three now. I'm going to work a single crochet two together over the final two stitches. And then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn my work. Now for row four, you are simply going to repeat row three. 
So you're going to start with a single crochet two together, single crochet in each of the next two stitches, work three single crochet stitches in the next stitch, single crochet in each of the next two stitches, and single crochet three together over the next three stitches. You're then going to repeat that all the way across, single crochet in each of the next two stitches, three single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in each of the next two stitches, and then single crochet three together. So repeat that all the way across to your final two stitches, then work your single crochet two together over those last two stitches, and at that point you are going to want to switch to your color C. So in that final single crochet two together, switch to your color C. Uh, then you can chain three and you're ready to begin row five. I'm at the end of my row four working my final single crochet two together and I'm going to switch over to my color C so I'm going to insert my hook in the next stitch draw up a loop insert my hook in the next stitch and drop a loop with three loops on my hook I'm going to drop my color B I'm going to pick up my color C which is my gray and I'm going to place it on my hook I will then complete my single crochet two together with my new color C. Pull my color B and my C a little bit tighter there. Chain three, turn my work, and I'm ready to begin row five. For row five, I am going to skip the first stitch and I'm going to work a triple stitch in the next stitch. This, at the beginning of this row, is going to count as my triple two together. I'm then going to work one double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, and one single crochet in the next stitch. Half double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet stitch in the next, and then a triple three together over the next three stitches. To work my triple three together, I'm going to yarn over twice. I'm going to insert my hook in the next stitch and draw up a loop. I'm then going to yarn over and draw my yarn through two loops on my hook. I'm going to do that one more time, yarn over and draw through two more loops on my hook. So I have two loops finally on my hook. I'm going to yarn over twice again, insert my hook in the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, draw through two loops twice. You'll have three loops on your hook. One more time, yarn over twice, insert your hook in the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over, draw through two loops, yarn over, draw through two more. You'll have four loops on your hook. You're now going to complete the stitch by yarning over and pulling through all four loops on your hook, and that's your triple three together. You're then going to work one double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next, and then a single crochet stitch. I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to cut off my color B because I'm all finished working with it. And I'll neaten up those ends when I'm finished. So now you're going to repeat that all the way across. Half double crochet in the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, and triple three together over the next three stitches.
double crochet in the next stitch, half double crochet in the next, and single crochet in the next stitch. Continue to repeat that all the way across to your, to your final two stitches where you will work a triple two together, then you will chain one and turn your work. At the end of row five, you will have worked your triple two together over the last two stitches. You're going to chain one and you're going to turn your work. For row six, you are simply going to single crochet in that first stitch, the top of that uh, triple two together, and then in each stitch all the way across. At the end of this, you will have a total of 37 single crochet stitches. At that time, you can fasten off your work and you can weave in your ends. If you uh, desire, you can do some light blocking uh, for your project. And then as well, I have an optional tassel on the end of my bookmark. Hang in there and uh, when I come back, I will show you how I made my tassels. So once you have completed your bookmark, and it looks something like this, you've woven in your ends, you've blocked it if you would like to, uh, and now we are going to uh, add a tassel to the end of our bookmark. So you can really choose either end of your bookmark. And what I did was I took my color B, so this color that ran down the center of my bookmark, and I cut um, 11 lengths of yarn and I wasn't really very particular about the length but I wanted it to be long enough to double it over just like this. So it's about three quarters of the length of my bookmark when it's doubled over. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate one of those strands. So now I have 10 in my hand and I'm going to put it through the end of my bookmark. To put it through the end of my bookmark, I simply took my crochet hook and I inserted it in through the center. I put all 10 pieces of the yarn onto that hook. If you want, you can grab a larger hook if you find it easier. And then I pulled it through. It might take a couple tries to get all those strands of yarn onto it, but I pulled it through still a couple more there that's not coming and um, pulled up the lengths okay I then made it pulled them so that they were equal through and there are all kinds of different ways to do tassels this is just the way that I like to okay so I pulled them I made sure that they were pulled they were all fit, almost the same length folded over in half just like that There we go. Then I took my 11th strand of yarn and I turned my bookmark over and up near the top where it's folded over, I took my strand, my 11th strand, and I simply tied it tightly around the top there in a knot. Just like so. Next, I wrapped the yarn around the top a few times. And I wasn't really too particular about how many times I wrapped it, just until I was satisfied with what it looked like. Just like that. And then I knotted the two strands one more time. So wrap it around as many times as you would like, and then I worked another knot there. Then to make it just a little bit more secure, I took the two ends of that piece that I cut a knot in, or worked knot in, I put it on my yarn needle, and then I just pulled it up and tucked it down through the center 
of the tassel and I did that to both of the ends. Same thing, just tucked it down into the center of my tassel. I made sure that they were pulled tight and then I simply took my scissors, got my tassel to the desired length, and trimmed my ends so that they were all even. And that's all there was to it, to creating my tassel. And that's all there is to the Making Waves bookmark. Congratulations, I hope that you had fun uh, working this bookmark with me. Thank you once again for joining me for this free tutorial. Once again, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.